Hi, I'm Casey. Welcome to my channel. Ipsy came in the mail yesterday, so let's see what is in it. I remember not thinking it was all that great this time, but I didn't cancel it yet because I just haven't taken the time to. I really need to do that. So this is this month of March's bag, which I also just, it's not my style. I don't think it's very cute. I like the idea it's women's month or whatever, but I think they could have done a lot cuter job. Sorry to the artist, just not my taste. Okay, so first up is this body moisturizer. It is a decadent body and hand cream, which value is supposed to be $30. Wow, for two and a half ounces. I hope this is awesome. I mean, I should open it. I, um, my other choices in this line were the Laura Labs Moods Eyeshadow Palette, which I have. The Moda Cosmetic Blending Brushes, but they already were sending me brushes. And last time I got like two sets of brushes, so I didn't feel like I needed brushes again. Or the, the Lady Gaga brand, the Haas Laboratories Glitter Brow and Lash Sparkle Topper which did, I mean, honestly, kind of sounded fun. This smells good. It's, it's a smell that I like, would like to smell like. It's, um, uh, it's a citrusy vanilla, <laughs> but I'm also kind of bad at describing scents, so it might not be. The tube, I guess, you know, I'll be able to get every last drop out of it because it looks like it all, you know, it's already indented here and I could just squeeze down. That'll be nice. Or sometimes the weird thicker bottles, it's hard to get out. Um, I mean, it, does, it feels okay. I just can't imagine it being worth $30, but I didn't pay $30 for it. So that should be fine. Anyway, I think I started to say, yeah, a glitter eyelash and eyebrow gel did seem slightly fun. But I also thought, how often would I really want glitter in my eyebrows? So that's why I decided on that one. Next up is the Marmalade Nails. They're press-on square matte white nails valued at $14, which I put on last night. And which I um, popped <laughs> the thumb here while I was opening this um, lotion bottle. But I've popped the thumbs two other times. I don't remember. I know it was this one once, but I don't remember if the other one was this one or this one. Um, so I'll probably end up adding super glue because this glue just clearly isn't sticking well enough for me. Um, but I do like them. Um, and the other things that I could have chosen was a complexion boosting moisturizer. I really don't need more moisturizers. Um, glow drops in rose pearl. That doesn't sound good and a hydrating lip oil. And I do like hydrating lip oils, but because I get a lot of these subscription boxes, I've got a lot of hydrating lip oils right now too. So I just didn't feel like I needed, I guess, more of that. Next, the Pure Lease Silk Glow BB Face Primer, oil-free, satin sheen, natural glow finish, extends to makeup wear. I think it's just a, prim a regular makeup primer and there's no like safety thing. So I can squirt it out and see if it's it does have some tint color to it, it looks like. So maybe it's like a primer that you could wear and then not necessarily have to wear makeup over it. I don't know. I mean, I'll use it. It feels fine. I'm not unhappy with it. Next was the Shayna B Miami palette. This value is $20. Another thing I'm finding interesting with Ipsy, because it seems like the products kind of repeat month after month. And if you don't pick it one month, they'll just send it to you as one of their picks because this has absolutely been in my choices in other months and I have not picked it. And then they just sent it as the, you know, their choice this time. Wouldn't you think they'd get the hint that if you didn't pick it, you probably didn't want it. Um, and then other things like the mighty patches, wasn't even an option for me, but you know, other people had that as an option. Um, I think that's another reason that I'm just not digging my Ipsy right now. I feel like if it's a choice for 
so-and-so down the street, it should be a choice for me and not the same thing that they've offered me that I have not wanted. Um, it has very nude colors, um, four shimmers and four mattes, and a little bit flaking out. And I marked down that I only want the adventurous colors often, which there's no way anybody would think that these were adventurous. So that's another reason that I just feel like they're not listening to our profile. They're sending the same stuff over and over. They're not impressing me. And my last option is the MOTD Cosmetic I Got It 5-Piece Brush Set. Um, value of $49 for five brushes. And I like getting brushes because I use them. And because I am playing with adventurous colors now, I can't reuse the same brush like I could when I used light brown and brown. And those were the only two colors. You could kind of use the same brush over and over every day. But now when one day I want to do a green look and one day a purple look, I'm washing my brushes a lot. So it's nice to have new brushes. But they picked this and they gave me brushes as a choice. Last month I had two of my choices were brushes. The month before that I had brushes and it just seems boring. I need them to wow me with some new ideas and products or some new colors or something. Like I just got online and ordered some of the multi-chrome colors. I've never gotten a multi-chrome color from Etsy. Let me see that. Let me have that as the choice. Or even just give me the choice of what everybody else got of the Mighty Patches because I'm almost out of those and would like some more. All right. So that, you want to come see? I can't. Also, I have a surprise guest. This is my daughter, Eve. <laughs> She's come to visit for a few days, and I asked her if she would be in my video for a second. You should have been in the whole thing. Then you could have, like, told me, hey, am I crazy? Is this... Wait, what is this? This is the hand cream that was $30. Is it worth $30? Because it's small. It's very smooth. It, it, it's a thicker consistency. Sometimes they're real, like, runny lotion-y. Yeah. And I think it's got a thick consistency, but it doesn't feel super greasy. It seems like most lotions have a water base, and this one seems to be more moisturizing. And what do you think of the scent? It's, like, light and airy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then this is the eyeshadow palette. What do you think of it? Um, This color... In this color, I like a lot. These are shimmers up here, and these are mattes. That part I kind of think is nice. Yeah, I agree. They have both. All right. <laughs> oh, and I actually last night um, had two different sets of nails because these just came, and then another set that I had. And I asked her which one I should put on. She picked these. She thought that they were better than the lavender ones. So yeah, she does like these. <laughs> um. um. What else have you tried without me? Um, well, so I also got these brushes. I didn't open them because, you know, they're brushes. But um, here, I could open them and you could try out the palette. Okay. Because I already have on makeup. Okay. Oh, here, you open this. I'll open this. Well, these actually, the lotion makes your hands very slippery, so I don't even know <laughs> if you can open them. If I'll be able to. But do you want to apply it to your own self? No. Oh, you want me to do it? Yeah. Okay. a little of this up here in the arch. Also, she's not wearing any makeup right now at all. <laughs> Do you see a difference at all yet? <laughs> not much. Ooh, that one comes off. This one is... South Peach. Nadia's in doing homework. Oh, I see that one. This one is Everglade. Seems like an odd name for it. I would think Everglade would be blue or green or something. Mm. 
What color is the Everglade? It's this one. Oh, gotcha. But wouldn't you think? Yeah. And these brushes are certainly not like um like all you would need. I need like a fatter, fluffier brush. Yeah, they feel kind of stiff. This is heat. Hmm. All right, look at this on my, is that way too um, red to use in your brows? Mm, I could have red brows. <laughs> All right, like, then. It matches like this color of my hair. All right, then. Um, she does her brows so great, though, she's probably never going to um, <laughs> be okay with trim this way while I do it, with how I do her brows. She's always had nice brows, even as a baby. Aww. Bizarrely nice brows. Thank you. <laughs> this way? They don't look too bad. They don't look bad. And I'm putting Marc Jacobs shimmery stuff on my lips while she does my under <laughs> liner. Yes, because I decided she needed open, actually. A little here on her outer corner with the darker. And then a little with the lighter. On her inner. Let's see. <laughs> You see, beautiful. Of course, you know, I don't think that had to do with the Shayna B eyeshadow palette, but, um, you know, it works. Um, all right, well, that's our Ipsy review. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for coming to my mom's <laughs> episode of trying What's stuff out. From my Ipsy bag. Yeah. March 2021. Bye. Bye.